Hey, what's up everyone? This is Minnesota Mike back with you for another video. This is another one in my vlog series that I do through the Memphis Songwriters Association in conjunction with the blog that I write for them talking all about songwriting and what has worked for various artists over the course of a handful of years, whether those songs have been hits or not. So this latest kick that I'm on is called Twist and Shout. You've probably heard it said that you should never judge a book by its cover. But as a listener, it can sometimes be fun to judge a song by its title. So you do this prior to listening and uh, you guess where the song is going to go based on what the song is called. It can be even more fun to be surprised by where it actually goes. There are many ways to put twists into your songs, some of which we will discuss in a future blog. But uh, these twists make the listener's ears perk up upon realizing that uh, the song isn't going where we thought it would. For purposes of this blog, we will take a look at songs that had a twist at the end and how they transform the songs from okay to great. Later on, we'll look at how to twist around the title, uh, as a lot of great songwriters do with common phrases. Um, and we'll look at how that can be useful for you both as a listener and as a writer. But for now, we're going to talk about the twists that come in at the end. We're going to start off with Everything You Want by Vertical Horizon. The title track to their 1999 album tells the story of a person down on her luck from the perspective of a man who watches her kicking a good man to the curb. The verses lament her inability to see something good when it's in front of her, with the first verse using lines like, you never did get it unless you were fed it. Now you are here and you don't know why. While the second verse contains one of my favorite lines, there's always another wound to discover. There's always something more you wish you would say. The chorus then says that despite what she's doing, the man is everything you want. The bridge, which is probably the second one after I want it that way that made me pay attention to bridges, says you'll just sit tight and watch it unwind. It's only what you waited for. The last verse then mirrors the first before diving into the chorus again. It's not the exact same, but it, you know, sounds very similar. So then they dive into the chorus again. Then the twist comes in during the last chorus. They uh, sing the bridge, then they sing the regular chorus, and then the last time they sing the chorus, they switch it up. In that last chorus, he, the he that he talked about throughout the whole song turns into a me when the narrator says, I am everything you want, I am everything you need. I've written plenty of songs that say, I've done this for you, how could you not appreciate that? But the fact that this is written from a point of caring for almost the entire song, with the twist at the end revealing that the narrator is the one that she's taking for granted, builds up the tension and makes the song that much more dynamic. So musically, uh, the song is written in A Dorian and uses the chords A minor, E minor, G slash B and C in the intro, which is a one, five, seven, two pattern. And that gets played twice. The verses do the same thing, except instead of C, they use C add nine, which adds some flair to that three chord. The chorus uses A minor, G, E minor, D, A minor, G, uh, and that is a one, seven, five, four, one, seven pattern. And that gets repeated three times. This is followed by E minor D, A minor G, which gets played twice. And that is a uh, five, four, one, seven, five, four pattern before ending on the C chord, which is the three. In between the first and second verse, the intro gets played again, and the bridge uses uh, E minor, C, E minor, D, C, which is a 5, 3, 5, 4, 3 pattern, and that gets played twice. Instrumentally, the song uses guitar, both electric, acoustic, and bass. In addition to the rhythm and lead guitar, there is a guitar used with a heavily distort, heavily distorted guitar that gets used, and uh, that has a tremolo effect uh, prevalent in the background during and in between the verses. 
In addition, there are drums played by future Doobie Brothers touring member Ed Toth. And I mentioned, like I said, that guitar uh, in the background during the verses. Uh, that's something that uh, I grew up with this song and I kind of noticed it, um, but not really until going back and listening to it. And it was driving me crazy what that was, so that guitar with the tremolo. Uh, that's that sound in the background for those of you curious. So structurally, the song uses a verse, chorus, verse, chorus, chorus, bridge, verse, chorus, chorus structure. The first two verses have two stanzas each, while the last one has a singular stanza. The last chorus provides the aforementioned twist, revealing I am everything you want, not the he that was alluded to during the rest of the song. In a later blog, like I said, we'll talk about types of narration. Um, actually, I didn't mention this, but uh, we'll talk about types of narration, which sometimes uh, allow the singer to uh, dip between first and third person. But this song would not have had nearly the effect it does if the he was revealed to be I before that last chorus. Uh, Everything You Want is embedded below. Uh, it is one of my favorite songs, so uh, I hope it is Everything You Want. And uh, as I said earlier, this is a song that uh, was released in 1999. And uh, this song has been tremendously influential for me as a writer. Uh, the bridges, I mentioned that. This is one of the first bridges that I noticed, even before I had a word for it, uh, where I was like, ooh, that's something different. And uh, that's what a bridge is supposed to do. Uh, but the bridge also is used to uh, go into uh, something else, you know, another revelation. And sometimes it's another chorus. Uh, eventually it is, that's the other revelation. Uh, but it goes into that verse, reveals a little more information, and then boom, that twist at the end. Uh, so I mentioned in the very first blog that I did, I mentioned Until You're Over Me by Maroon 5, and that's really uh, the song that got me thinking about song structure as I really started taking songwriting seriously. Um, but Everything You Want deserves just as much credit because it uh, really blew my mind that, like, ooh, that twist at the end, that's really cool. Um, and hopefully you can tell I'm still getting excited about it even, uh, you know, almost 25 years later. Uh, so uh, even if you're familiar with song structure, give it a listen. Um, it is uh, linked here uh, so you can listen and uh, hopefully get something out of it the way that I have. Uh, but that is everything you want in a nutshell. Uh, so since we're talking about surprise twists at the end, I'm not even going to tell you what the twist is uh, that we're going to be talking about next time, but it is a good one and uh, it's something that you wouldn't necessarily expect uh, out of me or out of really anybody uh, writing about hit songs, but uh, it's going to be a good one, so make sure that you tune in. I'm Minnesota Mike. Be sure to check out all my other vlogs uh, and uh, also the uh, Memphis Songwriters Association website where you can find this blog as well if you like it in written form. Uh, but I'm Minnesota Mike, thank you so much.